Hey guys, Spiderbite here, and we've got another Black Ops 2 preview video. We're looking at the LSAT LMG a weapon. There was, uh, you know, quite a bit of footage that uh, that I pulled from the Gamescom uh, live streams, and uh, just to give you a bit of information on the LSAT as we watch the gameplay, this is actually from the official multiplayer uh, trailer, and check out the scope on this thing. Check out the hybrid optic scope. It's pretty cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So let's take a look at some gameplay. I'm going to give you a bit of a background. Uh, the LSAT's from uh, US slash Germany, and this is off of the forums on Activision. Uh, some people were kind enough to put together a lot of information from uh, about these weapons. And the hip fire, the hip fire is fantastic. The last clip I'm going to show shows uh, a lot of hip fire. So I'm going to like it. I'm going to like it. And the scope, this. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what uh, what that scope name is, but the laser sight is cool too. I mean, honestly, the laser sight, and we've seen that in zombies videos, in custom zombies, with that laser sight, I like it. I like it. It just helps you. I mean, it's going to help me with my hip fire. <laughs> I can guarantee it. So uh, the cartridge, 5.56 by 45 millimeter caseless fire rate, 650 RPM, and this may not be the actual stats in-game. Uh, fire mode, fully automatic, damage medium, range medium, recoil, low to medium, magazine size. Now, what we're seeing here, and it's far better than what we've seen on um, Modern Warfare 3. I mean, the, the magazine itself, the size is about 100. Uh, here, I mean, he's got 400 rounds here. Uh, actually, I wasn't paying attention to see if he actually picked up some extra rounds. But typically, you've got 100 in the magazine, and you've got another 200 rounds. Well, in Modern Warfare 3, it was 100 and 100. In Black, the original Black Ops, I mean, obviously, we're, we were dealing with, yeah. So we've got 100, 200 here. So he must have picked up some, some ammo somewhere, possibly. Um but uh, at any rate, yeah, they, I mean, Black Ops was was the old weapons, right? So, I mean, you didn't have uh, nearly the capacity that we have seen in Modern Warfare 3 as well as we're seeing here in Black Ops 2. So uh, the LSAT, or Light Small Arms Technologies, was a developmental light machine enrolled in the JSSAP. The program started when the Joint Service Small Arms Program challenged the American defense industry to develop lighter small arms and ammunition. The LSAT provides a major reduction in weight over traditional LMGs, as well as improvements in other areas, such as controllability and reliability. The LSAT has the potential to improve battlefield effectiveness due to its simpler and more consistent weapon action, its lightweight and low recoil, and its stiffer barrel. Apparently, the LSAT has a stiff barrel. Did you get that? Its use of recoil compensation has produced positive feedback regarding controllability. The simpler mechanism of the LSAT is both more reliable and easier to maintain. It also uses a unique caseless ammunition, which reduces the weight even more. Now, obviously, they're going to have to balance the weapons. I mean, they can't just make LMGs run like... Uh, assault rifles, you know, you, you got to slow down your, your mobility. And I don't think it's going to be any different than, than what we've seen in, in like Modern Warfare 3. Now, what I will note, and I think this last clip, or, or actually this clip here that we're showing, and apparently he likes to throw those uh, those throwing knives or whatever here, uh, every time he respawns <laughs> trying to get that uh, that kill with uh, across the map. But um, <clears throat> I, it just seems that, that these guys are taking not very many hits and they're going down. Uh, this this LSAT is bringing them down, in my opinion, pretty damn quick. Uh, a lot quicker than uh, than I think in uh, in Modern Warfare 3, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to show you a few clips of uh, of all the uh, LMGs from Modern Warfare 3 at the end of this, uh, after we see this last uh, clip. And I, I like this clip the best because this uh, Shane dude, man, I mean, he's hip-firing like a boss. I mean, watch, watch him hip-fire. I mean, <laughs> he's got the laser sight. Uh, the laser sight, oh man, I don't know, I'm gonna have to try that shit, because it's looking pretty damn good, and, and that, that optic sight, or, or, I don't, I don't know exactly the name of that thing, I don't think we've, we've seen that, uh, that scope with the, uh, with the assault rifles, but I'll have to look into that a bit more, we see a little bit with the assault shield, <clears throat> um, apparently someone's gonna get stuck between a rock and an assault shield right here, a rock and a hard place, <laughs> Um, so, but, uh, yeah, it does, it does look like uh, a pretty decent, uh, LMG. I don't, uh, you know, I don't have nearly as much footage. I, I'm not sure if we even have any other footage 
of uh, any of the other uh, LMGs. I think there might be one that uh, I made note of. Um, so we'll take a look at that later on. But uh, this is obviously the one that had the most footage. So that's what I went with with the LSAT. And uh, <clears throat> we're just about done here. And we're going to take a look and just do a, a, a little comparison. I'm going to show you each of the five LMGs from Modern Warfare 3. And we can, you know, take a look and say, hey, you know, what, what does the LSAT, what is it most like? Which gun is it most like? So here's the L86 LSW. And, uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's, uh, there's much of a comparison with this one. I think, uh, I think it has more, here we've got the MG36. I think it's, uh, it probably is more like, uh, this, uh, this gun, the PKP Pikachu, sorry, the Pe Peshenek. I think it's more like a cross between the PKP and the M60, to be honest with you. Here's the MK46. The MK46 isn't too bad. And then the last one is the M60. Uh, the M60 is just beast. Oh yeah. So I I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which which uh, which LMG from Modern Warfare 3 is the LSAT most like? I think it's maybe it is a cross between the M60 and uh, and the PKP. Um, maybe just for both looks. You know, bas basically combining the best of both of those LMGs. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, another preview of uh, weapons that will be coming in Black Ops 2 in a few short months. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Spider, and I'm out.